Good day viewers at home. You are welcome to this channel. This is um, Edway Stitches. Um, today, we'll be teaching us um, how to make a um, fancy senator button. Fancy senator button. So, um, the materials we'll be making use for this today this tutorial is a um, silky thread. We call it a um, silky thread. So, you can get um, this one from a very good um, tailoring shop. Is um, a trending thread now, and uh, we use uh, not only this um, fancy senator button we use it for. We use it in I use it in design this. So later in the day, we are going to be teaching us um, how we use um, this thread for this um, particular design and then the other design too. We are going to be showing us. Just um, don't forget to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that uh, bell so that each time we upload them, this video like this, um, you have a notif you be notified. So um, let's go to the chase now. So we need them um, this thread. We need them um, cover of a pen. We need cover of a pen. Of course, we need the needle, a very long one, or probably the longest uh, needle we have. But then we are needing um, this type of needle. I do not know the actual size of this. So we need needle. Then um, we need our scissors, or we use a um, blade. So and then we need um, this um, ordinary thread, normal thread we use. So um, let's go to the chase now. So we have um, this silky thread, we get um, as long as um, as possible, make sure it is as long as possible. So I'll be using this. So um, we are going to try this one, put this one inside our needle, pass it through to the needle. So it may be very difficult to pass this thing across. It may be very difficult, but if it is very convenient for you, you can just um, do it. But um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to stress myself. So what will I do? I will use a... Um, this um, thread, I will use this thread, I will put it on fold, I will put it on fold, then I will use this to pass my thread. Hope we can see. So we have it already. We have it. Then we have this thing on foot. We have it on foot. So we have it on foot. We don't let it not. So we have it on foot. Then we tie this. And I'll be cutting this way. So this is what I have. This is what I have. So the next thing is just to cut the size of our button now. We have this. So um, it depends on how high you want um, this thing to be. But um, for this um, one I will be making now, I'll be cutting quarter and then, um, I don't know how to describe it. So this is my quarter. So you can have it as quarter, so it is okay. But if you want it, you can make it high. You can make it um, quarter and then half. But I will be using quarter. Let me use quarter for this um, particular tutorial now. I'll be using quarter. I'll be cutting out quarter. So I can use my blade to cut it out, or I use my scissors. So both will work. So this is what I have. I cut out quarter and then this is what I have now. So I will make sure that um, this place is the um, up, upside of the of the button. So I will start threading from the down part. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a pull here. You can see. Hope we are seeing it. So the next thing is just to be turn it on it, put it inside, and then you start threading it. You can see it is very simple. You do it continuously and then you make sure you set it. So you just be turning it, it's just very simple like that. <laughs> so 
you can see. So until you complete uh, the, you fool everything. So inside, then you bring it outside. So you continue like that until you fill it up. Yeah. So I have completed it. I have completed it. You can see. So I have completed them um, everything. So I will make sure I go once again. I will go once again. Once again. So you will do it once again, just the way you have done it before. Um, you go around again. You can as well use beads instead of the cover of a pen. You can as well use beads, but make sure that um, the kind of beads you are using, it has um, enough pull to thread. So you can use beads. Done. So you may not have um, the exact place where you started, you may not know the exact place where you started, but make sure that um, you trade as, um, as full as possible so that at least you will not have um, too much go inside again. So I think um, I'm okay with what I have here. I'm okay with what I have. I have a little trade, little O inside again. So I'll use this remaining one to fix um, my trade now. I will use this one to fill in. You can see, see what I'm doing now. So I will use this one to you can see. So I'm having this. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is just to complete it, to fix it to my blanket or flap. The next thing is just to fix it to my blanket or flap. So how will I do that? So I will just, assuming this is my flap, I get the center, so I'm just um, put it there. So then you will go on and on. You will, you will make sure you put it inside the, one of the threaded, threaded piece, then pull it out. then you do it on and on. You can see, let it be very tight, you can go again. And then you go. So you can see, I have it very fixed and strong. I have it very fixed and strong. So you can do as many as possible. You can put them three as a form of design, like um, the one you see on the display, then this thing, and then make sure you tight it so that you're not loose. Then tights then your cuts then this is what we have you can see how strong and um, firm it is so you can as well use this thing to make um, the tum tum what you put uh, on top of a um, house cap so i will use it i will be giving you the ends of how we go about that one the what we use for this um, particular we don't use in this so we'll be making video on that one so you can see 
you can make and um, fix it on your um you can use it as button and then fix it and to make a fancy design on your um blanket so um this is the end of this uh, particular tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up um don't forget to share and then like subscribe and then so that then we get uh, notified each time we upload them this will be like this and thanks for watching